In this virtual excursion, we take a visit to the Martelescope Jägerhäuschen. This demonstration and training site is located in the Kottenforst district near the city of Bonn. The Kottenforst is a very popular recreational forest, especially for the people living in the metropolitan area Cologne, Bonn. What we see here is a field crew demonstrating the establishment of a martelescope. So what are martelescopes? They are outdoor forest classrooms used for training and education. The concept originates from France. The term martelescope is derived from the French word for tree marking, martelage, and the Greek term scopane, look, meaning literally having a closer look at a management decision and in particular at individual tree selections. Martelescopes are one hectare in size, in which all trees are numbered and mapped. Data recorded includes tree coordinates, tree species, tree diameter, tree height, tree microhabitats for deriving a habitat value for each tree, and tree quality assessment, which will allow to calculate for each tree also an economic value. What would be a typical martelescope exercise? A simple one may be to identify the most economically valuable and prominent habitat trees. A more challenging one may ask for removing, let's say, 70 cubic meters of wood with preference on high quality timber, while ensuring natural regeneration and the preservation of habitat trees. If inviting the general public to a martelescope, we usually focus on giving insight to the daily work of a forester, or raising awareness for decision-making processes when it comes to balancing different ecosystem services, for example, wood production, biodiversity conservation, and recreation. In summary, such field exercises aim at making visitors better understand the many facets of a forest ecosystem and the challenges when managing forests for a multitude of ecosystem services. I would now like to introduce tree microhabitats. What are they? Tree microhabitats are structures that occur on individual trees and represent important substrates for different species that can also serve as refuges or feeding places. What we see is a trunk or a mold cavity which can be home to many wood-dwelling beetles. We see feeding holes of woodpeckers and can imagine shelters for bats and other animals. So why emphasis on tree microhabitats, for example, to the general public? Tree microhabitats are well recognizable features that are important for many species. They let the visitor experience something typically found in old growth forests. Linking observed tree microhabitats to species which depend on such structures can be quite an exciting experience for forest visitors. Here my colleagues have identified root buttress cavities, which can serve as shelters. In case they are filled with water, so-called water pots, they may attract insects that depend on such habitats, as for example hoverflies or specialized mosses along the pan edges. As there are only very few near-natural forests left in Europe, late development phases are virtually lacking. Managed forests are usually harvested rather at economic maturity and thus old growth features rarely develop. Ensuring natural tree species composition, enhancing the availability of tree microhabitats, preserving old trees, ensuring sufficient standing and lying deadwood and letting smaller forest gaps for example caused by windstorm, natural regenerate, are important to take into consideration in managed forests. In doing so, forest management can contribute to sustaining and increasing biodiversity while making forests more resilient. However, sustainably managed forests need to provide many different ecosystem services, as for example the urban forest, cotton forest. Thus, there will always be trade-offs to which forest functions should be given priority. This is exactly what we want to convey 
by training exercises in MAR telescopes. To date, there are more than 120 such sites in 20 European countries. They are mostly established by state forest enterprises, city forests, universities and forestry schools, but also by nature foundations and private forest owners. The European Integrate Network, initiated in 2016, promotes the use of MAR telescopes. The network brings together representatives from European countries, promoting the integration of nature conservation into sustainably managed forests policy, practice and research lab. We as EFI act as its secretariat.